guys, this is just an updated everyday face routine, everyday makeup routine, um, foundation, you know, start from the ghost to the not so ghost. And yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoy it and um, yeah, be ready for a possibly long ass video. Okay, I'm going to start with priming my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion. Next I'm going to take um, NYX Jumbo Pencil in Dark Brown. And I'm just going to like, almost like doing a thick layer of eyeliner. Just like that, and then we're going to take um, a small chiseled eyeshadow brush and what we're going to do is just blend this up to the, um, the crease. And this is just going to be a good base for the eyeshadow stick to and give it more of a, a pow. As always happens to me, I end up with one eye layer than the other, so you know. Just go back and add more. You could use your finger, but I don't like the mess, especially since I apply my foundation with my finger. I don't want like brown smudging all over my face. Next I'm going to take my um, number 7 eyeshadow blending contour brush which is like really dirty because I use it like every day in the same eyeshadow. Yeah I know I should clean it but I worry about it not being dry in time to use it the next day. <laughs> and I just use it in this eyeshadow. It's the Glitter Green from H&M. I think this was like £3 or something. Like on its own, it's like, it's okay, but when you put it over dark color, ooh baby, it comes alive. It's amazing what you can find when you buy on a whim. Okay, and I'm just gonna blend that up a little, just to like get the hair out of the way, just to blend any harsh lines or whatnot. And if you guys are like wondering what the heck happened to my eyebrows, I got a little bit scissor happy when I was trimming them. It's not pretty. What next? What next? Where is it? There it is. Nice to take the um, Colorstay Eyeshadow Quad in Khaki Neutrals. Neutrals. And um, take my big fluffy brush if I can find the. If I can find it. Um, which I can't. Okay, I couldn't find the brush I was looking for, so I had to go run and get this one. Okay, I'm just going to take the light colour down here, and I'm going to put this on as my highlight. It's kind of shimmery, but not too shimmery. 
So I like it. Okay, next I'm going to take a little shader brush that's a little fluffier and shedding hairs. And I'm going to take this green colour here. The khaki colour. And where did I put this usually? I feel like I put it in the wrong place. I'm just going to put this here just above the crease just to add a little depth I find it weird that this is a khaki colour in the pan but it goes on like a charcoal-y colour it is very odd. Okay, next I'm going to take that's not my foundation. Next I'm going to take my foundation and use um, a moment I'm using the Rathlon Colours um, Photo Ready in Shell number 003. I'm um, sure you can maybe tell the face and chest difference possibly. I'm self tanning so I get to use a darker foundation and have a look normal. Shake it up. Shake it up. Whenever I hear someone say shake it up, I get in my head the start of that. Um, oh my god, what's with all the hair today? Yeah, I get in my head the start of that Regina Spector song. Um, High Fidelity, I think it is. You know, at the start she goes shake it up. I love it. I'm a huge Regina Spectre fan, in case you guys don't know. I have mostly all of her albums. I don't think she tours in the UK, so I've never seen her live. Who knows? Okay, and I just, um, I take about half a pump of it. And I just spot it. And rub it in. And try not to get it in my eye for Christ's sakes. I never used to put on my foundation with my fingers, I used to, well I used to when I first started wearing foundation and then I discovered the beauty of a brush and I just stuck with brushes and then I went back to using the generic foundation brush which had never worked for me before and it suddenly started working for me and now I'm back using my fingers. That was GP in case you heard that. He likes to come out with weird noises sometimes. And then I take my foundation brush and whatever's left on the back of my hand and I just kind of blend out the edges along my jaw and stuff. Just get rid of like finger marks and stuff because finger marks can exactly pretty now are they? No one likes streaky face. Nuh uh. Okay next I'm gonna do my concealer. Which is just a play I've been using the Boing concealer 
it never used to match me. I bought this um, in the dead of winter, like just for New Year's. I swear the assistant tricked me into buying this. I hated it. I so regretted purchasing it. But then um, after I had the attack from the cat, I needed a heavy G concealer. And this just kind of came to my rescue. I'll insert a little piece of footage if I can find one of me um, with the black eye. I don't know if you're wondering what day it is. Um, I tried to put Timothy outside. Apparently he doesn't like going outside. So here's me. A way to put him out the door. He turns and wriggles and the paws are flying and I end up with a claw right there. The good thing about your under eye is that it heals quite quickly. The scar itself is healing quite quickly. The bruising, however, I think that's going to take ages to go away. So it's going to be a fun one to explain to work. Oh, I have a demo. Um, you won't see any footage, but I have now a little scar here from where Timothy scratched me when I tried to put him outside. Timothy doesn't like outside apparently. As soon as he saw the open door, he went mad. And I just use a little bit extra to cover like any blemishes or whatnot or scarring that I may have. This is just like um, the Revlon Contour Shadow Brush. But yeah, it just works well for what I use it for. <laughs> and next, I'm gonna powder me face. Um, this is Max Factor's loose powder in translucent, and I use a puff. To do my powder because I swear that by using a puff, um, mine does need to clean. I usually clean them every day, but I forgot to do it yesterday. I swear that by um, setting my foundation using a puff, my oils take six hours to seep through. Which is honestly amazing. I just get some on it and rub it in and tap off the extra. And then I just take it on my fingers and roll. Hi. You just roll on. If you get excess powder, it's okay because you can just dust it off later. But I swear, it's just, it pushes the powder into your skin and actually like concretes your foundation. I love it. So if I do this at like half seven in the morning, I don't need to powder my face till maybe one or two in the afternoon, maybe three, depending on how hot, it, how hot it is that day. And it's not like, you know, matte matte. It's matte for about half an hour and then it sort of dewies up a little. It doesn't get, my face doesn't get greasy for like till like two. So it's great. I love it. This thing is like a godsend. And then I just take my little kobuki and 
just dust off any excess because you don't want to look cakey and I swear this just gives like a flawless look and I love it. Okay, next I'm going to contour my face and I'll take my taupe from NYX which I'm hitting pan on, I'm so excited. <laughs> Are you proud of me? I'm hitting pan on something. And I just take it on a really big powder brush and just sort of sweep that into the contour of my face there. And for blush, I've been using um, Pink Cloud from Natural Collection. I've heard this compared to um, a MAC blush. I generally don't use a highlight because I feel like I've got enough crap on my face. Next I'll do me eyebrows. Because I stupidly over trimmed them. Oh, well, it's kind of handy that I over trimmed them because now I get to define the shape a bit better, I suppose. Every once in a while I trim them too short. By the when I was younger I used to um, trim the ends a bit here with a razor. And I used to go down the centre a bit with a razor because I have a monobrow. And I accidentally shaved off half my eyebrow once. It wasn't fun. This is just a clear mascara from Collection 2000. It's like two pounds or something stupid. And for mascara I'm using the um, 2000 calorie dramatic look from Max Factor. Um, it's quite good. I like it. It reminds me of a L'Oreal Voluminous. And I'm just going to curl my eyelashes a couple times. And I'm going to go over it with the one by one. Just do my bottom lashes first. And for lips, I'm going to take um, Costa Chic, maybe. Is that too right Yeah, that is a bit too bright today. Take some gloss. No, even with glass was too bright. Up the girls. I really like that colour, but sometimes it just feels too bright. It 
is really weird. To wear Max Factor's rosewood instead. It's like the ultimate My Lips Bar colour. Love it. I feel like a middle-aged woman. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Okay, this is like the third time I've done turns out this, but um, yeah, this is my everyday foundation look. Um, makeup routine, foundation routine, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, basically, I'm wearing the same eyeshadow look, the same contour colour, same foundation. Lip colour usually changes and blush sometimes changes if I'm not wearing um, this colour. I can't remember the other colour I was using. Um, peachy Keen, that's it. If I'm not wearing this pink colour, I'm usually wearing Peachy Keen. Um, my lip colour changes quite a lot, depending on how I feel. Um, I trimmed my hair. It's kind of different. Just tidy up my layers a little. Not that you'd be able to tell. It's such a mess right now. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. If you have any requests, feel free to comment down below. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you.